but now <laughs> they're giving each other a thumbs up. I think this is going to be a button check, or at least something along those lines. No button checks. We're just you gaming. You played random? What? I mean, that's Daybreak. Again, Semi Retired has been playing hashtag for fun. Wait, so, who's, who's playing the random? It's, it's Daybreak. It's Daybreak, yeah. It's Daybreak. Daybreak. Daybreak has been picking into random and just, you know, more wackier characters lately, just going off of pure fundies. Gamer fun dog, though, with Mario. The We're going to see if he has that dog in him or if he's a puppy. If he's, if he's just a mere pooch. Oh man, I'm this close. Anyways, Dave Blake right now looking to get that tech chase on the platform with the falling up. He's not going to be able to find it, just poking away, keeping Gamer Dog away with some of these down tilts, just exhibiting his fundies, just using out, using those disjoints to the best of his ability. Marth also, a very, very niche character played. I mean, we were, we were seeing uh, the Orion, I believe, I saw a statistic that Marth is like down in the trenches, like super down bad in terms of how well his player representation is, where only a few specialists really hold the, the keys to the kingdom oh, yeah. with him right now. You put that character on someone playing random, you gotta have, you gotta be putting the fun in fundies, my guy. Gotta make sure he's spacing's on point, of course. Gotta make sure that you're playing it back effectively. And now, uh, I don't know what Gamer Dog was looking for, but you know what? He was still able to find that up smash. He was able to get that stock off, and now just not able to get that opening in. Daybreak going to be keeping him off stage with that neutrally. Doesn't find the back that he was looking for as a Gamer Dog just slowly securing the lead for himself. The benefit here is that Daybreak is able to afford himself as a sortie against Mario to have some good spacing. Uh, it's just, again, excellent temper right there, too. You just got to know your spacing. You just got to know how to execute. I love how Daybreak put that up air out earlier, so that way it would catch the descending of oh, yeah. uh, Gamer Dog's Mario right there. So Daybreak, it's not looking like his first rodeo on this character. He's just doing money things. He's jumping in Gamer Dog's face, right? He's getting, the, like, not the perfectly spaced forward, so he backs off a little bit. Gamer Dog's advantage shade is looking a little bit more solid than uh, Daybreak's is. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the, that's the nature of Mario, right? You get one down throw, up air, up air, up air, and you can just keep it going the entire time. Whereas Daybreak is going to be relying primarily on most of these stray hits the majority of the time. Still, though, you're hearing those crisp tipper sounds. The spacing is on point right now. Oh, yeah. Jumping back onto the stage here. What an air dodge, but Gamer Dog, unfortunately, not able to find a punish. He drifted a little bit too much to the wrong side. Daybreak able to find that tipper back here. Makes it back onto the stage, and he is just keeping Gamer Dog stuck in disadvantage. Oh, yeah. All right, very aggressive there from Ledge. Quite a bit ill-advised, I'd say, especially against a character like Mario that is just waiting for you to land on him with that up oh, smash. Yeah. Gotta be super patient at the Ledge against Mario. You gotta make sure that, you know, he popped out his button, then he can come back on uh, successfully. But right now, Daybreak just doing classic soily things, just keeping Game of Dog out as much as possible. All right, this could be a huge combo start here. That excellent tipper up tilt coming out right there mm -hmm. from Daybreak. Daybreak keeping it close. Somebody wanted something. I see a falling up here like that for Mario. They're up to no good whatsoever. Parentheses, they want that for you. Mario well, players only want one thing. And it's, and it's disgusting. Gross. Yucky. <laughs> but Daybreak just trying to get another attack trace going here. He's getting like a lot more one-off hits, right? He's winning Ooh. neutral a lot more times, but just not able to take it as far as Gamer Dog is. Almost landing on top of Gamer Dog once again, too. Still, Gamer Dog's spacing has been very good, doing these retreating bears a lot of the time. Okay, though, Daybreak needs to get some sort of clean stage control right here. But this is looking mighty tough. Okay, dashing back over and over again, air dodging, finally fighting his way out of the corner, but not for long, as Game of Dog is just buckling it down at the ledge here. Dashing, dashing in, maybe trying to bait a ledge option. Uh, I feel like this is a good time to go for the ledge trail. <gasps> I love the patience from Daybreak at the ledge and both the neutral, the temper F smash. Daybreak is going to cake that game with Marth? The random Marth? Does he know? To lose. He knows. He knows. Picasso, well, he did it. what's the holdup? He made it happen. Wow. He did make it happen. A little bit, just patiently shielding right there. Yeah, big oh, whiff. Actually, the buddy. up smash led yep. Mario into getting tippered right there, too, because of the way he shifted forward after it. First of all, I feel like that up smash should have connected. Right? That would have been like it. That would have been like the signal. It's activation time. But pressing a little bit too late. Doesn't matter. It's still like safe enough, I guess, to the point that you're not dying off of that interaction. He comes back in. Mouth barely air dodging that past it. That was insane. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oopsie. What's going to happen next? Boop. Get shot right in his Italian loafer right there. Take those Pradas off, Mario. You're done. 
I think one thing Daybreak had more than Gamer Dog within that first game was patience. I think Gamer Dog was a little too eager to to pull the trigger on a lot of those punishes. Oh yeah. Whereas Daybreak, Bing chillin. Indeed. Bing chillin. Indeed, Sean. So going on to game number two here. Feel like I'm Daybreak. I'm like, cool. I just got to win with Random. I'm probably going to be sticking to that, perhaps. And he can't even adapt. He can't even adapt. Can't even adapt. What do you got to adapt Rob, to? This this dog got more than just one in him. He got two dogs in him. He got Rob and Mario. He's nodding a little bit. He got Pikachu. Okay. This is colloquially referred to a lot of Rob players as a horrendous matchup. But we're going to see what uh, Daybreak has. Oh, he has. plays Pikachu. Oh, he plays he Pikachu. He saw two up airs in the back end like he plays Pikachu. He did a reverse up air <laughs> into the back end as well. It looks like he does at least a little bit. Yeah, this matchup kind of sucky for Rob just because of how big Rob is and how Pikachu can have the luxury of going off stage against Rob and hang out there for a while too. And if you're playing random and you commit to it, you've had to play at least, like, you've had played at least every character in the roster at least once, except for the Miis, because they are not on random, sadly. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the heavens. But okay, right now, Game Dog. He is trying to get some sort of a follow-up going. Daybreak is putting out all of these active hitboxes that is making it difficult for Jago to kind of do anything here. Uh, as well as Pikachu small, Rob not able to yeah. uh, contest how small he is sometimes. It's one thing Rob can struggle with against, especially a character as nimble and agile as Pikachu. I mean, just the amount of times this character can pancake and just shrink their hurtbox makes it quite difficult for Rob to get anything started. Okay, not able to get the up tilt into the up air. Tries to go through some down tilt pressure, but Daybreak was just able to successfully jump over, restart that situation, and then jumps right into the back air. Happens to the best of us. Gamer Dog, he's, uh, he's broken. The main thing is how is Daybreak going to finish a majority of these stocks, is what I'm wondering. Like, yeah, you can have good fundies to get your good combo game and neutral as Pika, but how to get your win condition can be a little bit more difficult. And the tried and true Rob Classic. They break it and put in the blender right there. It is also Pikachu. If Pikachu has any weaknesses, it is that, like, you do struggle to get in food kills quite yeah. a bit, right? Um, well, stubby. Yeah, and you're not able to get, like, the best edge guards against somebody like Rob. Either somebody that has oh. that much sustain off stage, and uh, they break like, missing putting something. He did, yeah. like, a pivot jab. I think that could have very well been an up smash. Trying to get these falling nair hitboxes to maybe confirm it to an up smash or a down smash or something. Still, though, I like the way Gamer Dog has been kind of saving Gyro a lot of the time. It's been really making things he a He saved big Gyro, and Gyro saved him from that entire interaction, just interrupting Pikachu, interrupting whatever Daybreak was cooking. And all of a sudden, Sean, this lead that Gamer Dog has built up is paying off. Oh, yeah. And with Rob, you can, ne you can never frown at a lead. You know, you can get comboed and hit into oblivion, but if you get your, your one zero to death combo, you're, you're, you're chilling. Oh, you're yeah. looking good. Okay, drag down into the up tilt. Beautiful stuff. Tries to go through the platform reset, uh, but Game Leader just able to air dodge out of there in time. Jumping, getting stuffed out there by Daybreak, who is showing a sign of life. Big F smash coming out right here. Still, though, it's just these stocks have not been wrapping up as succinctly as Daybreak might have liked. Like, Rob is going to be living past 100 for majority of the time unless Daybreak can get some sort of insane edge guard. And that back here almost connected to you. You saw Gamer Dog look, looking for it, but Daybreak was just close enough to find that new trailer. Delaying on the mash. Oh, buddy, but uh -oh. is this one going to be it? No, he made it out successfully and safely. This is tough too. One bad on shield option from Daybreak, and he's going to be eating a big up smash. Flying almost right there. But the dash attack actually ended up clanking with the up smash. That dash attack was able to scoop it up. Daybreak reeled in. Is this doable? Yes. Is it likely? Absolutely not. Can Gamer Dog close this game two out, or does my boy have a little bit more bark than bite? We're going to see right here as Daybreak needs to do something. There's going to be, with the way this game has been going so far, though, the amount of damage that Daybreak still has to do before his work is done is astronomical. Oh, but that F tilt. It's just going to get socked in the face. Rock him, sock him, robots. He's out of there. Boom. <laughs> wow. Get him out of here. And he was gone. He had places to be. And this dog is biting out here. Gamer dog. 1-1 one, one right now. Still, R and Jesus can give it and take it away. Daybreak not looking as strong. Looking good, but not as strong as a Pikachu specialist would really need to look. Yeah. Well, we only know what will what the future shall hold for our, our random hero. 
So I'm trying to think about, like, what is your, like, thought process into even, like, fighting somebody who is random? Because it's not often that, like, some habits stay the same between characters. You're effectively playing a new opponent each time, and uh, Daybreak has a little bit more time to adapt. This time, though, going to be on the Bowser. Which, uh, I, think, I think out of player's core, habits will stay the same. Just the character habits won't always look identical. Yeah. But defensive habits, like shielding, spot dodging, you have a rough game plan of how to play with those in mind. But as, as far as the more intric intricate and comfy stuff, there will be moments of discomfort you can exploit on a lot of random I will players. also say, this is maybe one of the best character things to get on random, because oh, yeah. Bowser is straight up the easiest to play a in two year old could play this character, literally. No shade at Bowser players, but also, you could give a three-year-old a controller. And they'll probably take yeah, some. they play with one hand. They got one thumb in the mouth at all times. And my friend, a down smash from that shield break is going to come in there. Day break just had that one read. Gamer Dog was a little bit too scared. He was sitting in shield and all of a sudden lost their stock as a result. This is also d just the nature of Bowser being easy. Like, you have, you just have to be rewarded with a solid set of fundamentals to play this character. You have a yeah. good out of shield tool. You have very good, fast, aggressive buttons to use. You have an excellent fare in terms of spacing. And you've got some cheeky little mix-ups to, to threaten shields a little bit as well. As well as Flame Breath, which is a phenomenal like mix of tool and neutral. So oh my gosh. This but character has, has a good smorgasbord of options to utilize against Rob. And I man. I don't know if Gamer Dog wanted that F tilt facing the other direction. He definitely like wanted to like tech chase and cover like Bowser. Bowser's tech roll out, but that Bowser is living 179%. Gamer Dog getting up in his seat after the single jab. You can't be whiffing those, my friend. And you gotta lock in too, right? You don't you don't want to drop a set to a guy playing random. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nobody does. That's a that's an ego check. Okay, just stalling a little bit, just doing basic Rob stuff, delaying the, as much as possible. That side V is just going to keep on dealing damage, applying the hood, but commits a little bit too much out there. And Daybreak is not flinching. You know, it, you know, all these landing mix-ups that Gamer Dog is trying to employ, Daybreak is waiting them on. Still, this is a huge regrab, but not going to punish it. Against anybody else, you can fade back with down and as Rob, but Bowser has the biggest get-up attack in the game. Ooh. <laughs> Gamer Dog looking a, like chastising himself a little bit in the player cam right now. We're seeing just visible frustration being mounted, and rightfully so. Oh, yeah. Daybreak is, is harder than a cockroach to kill right now. But finally, one stock is gone. Alas, Gamer Dog was not able to find the full extent of his punish. Uppy is going to be able to take that stock, and uh, Daybreak has amassed a massive lead. Oh, he's trying to, trying to go for the Robble right there, but not going to really achieve anything too much. Still, though, I like the Gyro in hand and the attempts on the Z-Drop Nairs. Definitely a good tool to use, especially against Bowser. Bowser, a character that's huge. He, he, you know, oh, yeah. He's just as susceptible to getting hit. Oh, the positional pressure from Daybreak. He is just getting in Gamer Dog's face, looking absolutely terrified, backing off a little bit, tossing out a Gyro. Daybreak isn't falling for anything. And, uh, ooh, almost found the neutral layer that he needed. Yeah, he's not getting over ambitious when it comes to like approaching Rob the majority of the time. That's gonna be some little 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 scuffed DI right there, gonna be ending that stock right there for Daybreak, but still a fresh stock with, with invincibility and stage control. You couldn't ask for more as Bowser. Oh yeah. Looking for those F-Totes, playing nice and patiently out of shield there. Neutral just in case uh Gamer Dog had opted to jump or maybe spot dodge after hitting Daybreak shield. There's several times right now that Gamer Dog has been hitting Daybreak unsafely on shield, and Daybreak is just not using up B to do it. But still, another really favorable position, and Bowser being strong as heck, that Gyro's gonna fly all the way oh up. Oh my god. Excellent up smash. Daybreak nodding his head like, yeah, looking very comfortable too. Didn't look antsy and neutral even when Gamer Dog had the Gyro in hand. It's almost like he didn't have to respect it too much either, because the Gyro combos, you know, weren't looking too advanced oh, yeah. aside from the ones that were happening at ledge. Yeah, and then also like a huge thing that you have to consider, like of course, Rob, what he likes to land with, he likes to land with Neutrilo. That is like without a doubt. This is one of the most unique ways that you can actually punish it, thanks to Bowser's up smash because of the armor that it gives you and provides. Um, you can make it very difficult to land on top of Bowser. You would like to ideally avoid that at all costs, right? Rob can basically get away with that to anybody else in the cast, just not him. We got Min Min. <laughs> <laughs> Gamer Dog throwing his hands up in anguish. My guy, you gotta be prepared for any character. My boy's playing random. He's gotta be ready, but we're seeing the Daybreak Min Min now. And already, and Mario Min Min can be kind of stressful. I feel like he plays Min Min. Yeah. That might have been like a shake of like, man, that's unfortunate for Game of Dog. <laughs> because he's dealt 95% without repercussion. 
But still, though, that, again, you know, when you're not a character specialist, there will be the cracks where your character knowledge and execution will falter just a little bit. Min Min's control scheme, while being like kind of like a, you know, very simplistic character on the outlook, the fact that you have a difference in tilts and smashes for most of your moves while moving horizontally. Oh, the DI. It is a DI check. It can be a little uncomfortable for, for play people who don't tend to play Min Min exclusively or like specialize in Min Min. Absolutely. But oh my gosh, right now, Game of Dogs advantage state looking so brutal cute. Able to get those uphills holding in on that, but just taking so much percent. Dave Blue needs a way to be able to get the stock off. I'm just waiting every time Daybreak misses Mace's jump, he is going to be punished and hard called out by a Gamer Dog every time. Oh, yeah. Okay, just waiting a little bit, not progressing any options quite yet. Expending the double jump finally. You have to air dodge, and you have to air dodge, and Gamer Dog just has to be there. He did it, he did the thing. This is looking like a re roll. Oh, hit, yeah. hit, the, hit the slots again. We didn't, we didn't get sevens this time. We, we got like Anvil, we got like Cherry. Just the combo game. Like, he needs Gamer a seven. Dog's able to take advantage. He needs a seven. My man bet it all in black and he got red. And that up smash still not going to be able to kill. Daybreak can't seem to close out the stock for the life of him at this point. He keeps on refreshing these situations, but none of these items are coming out the way that he needs to. All right, though, the runoff fair attempt right there. Still, though, Daybreak at the ledge, too, and Gamer Dog on a fresh, still three stocks right now. Oh, yeah. DI check, DI once check. again, did we pass? We did not pass, we failed. Wait, I feel like he DI'd fine, he just died. Might have just been the mass abundance of rage that Gamer Dog had at his disposal. I mean, Mario was at like 160 at the end of the day, one, one, almost 170. Oh, yeah. So that rage may have been enough to just juice him all the way to the end of that one. And the thing is, Daybreak like, started that game off by cooking. That was like 80, 90 percent completely uncontested. uncontested. And then he just couldn't kill. He couldn't kill, he couldn't ledge trap. None of his up smashes killed. A little Satch. I think it's just the lack of specialists now. Oh, are we seeing a little bit of wavering? Are we seeing a not commitment on the random? Are we seeing a potential actual counterpick? No. We gotta commit. You gotta commit. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna full send it. Oh, eels. My man wanted escalators. He's getting them. Now, of course, for anybody that is uninitiated to how random works in Ultimate, it is not a total, of RG. course, RNG. It yeah. picks and values, like, characters and stages that you've chosen, like, the least. Yeah. Uh, that's and why you get these kinds of characters more often than not on random. The less common specialist type characters. And Ryu and Ken are probably the two least played characters on average on a typical Smash setup. You'd have to be lucky and get, like, Vendetta or Jazzo setup or something oh, like yeah. that. But okay, big Mario combos afoot. Beautiful Jeez. stuff. Cleaning up that stock. A game of dog. You know what, Sean? It's time to say it. This is looking rough right now for Daybreak. Not what I was thinking. I was going to say that he has that dog in him, but that's somehow even better. He tried to go for the same thing that time. Okay, he has no, no air dodge. He's dead, yeah. Yeah. Edge guarding Mario. He, not enough people go off stage to edge guard Mario when he's got no jump left in the kit. When he's, he's got no jump, trade with that up beat. Yeah, All you have to do is just shove him enough to the side, and then he won't be able to make it back on. People are like, oh, go to the stage. Ah, well, if he, if he has his, doesn't have his double jump, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, but Ooh can't be whiffing buttons and he's gonna game dog's face like that. Oh, he's living. Saved him. Saved his bacon a little bit right there. If Daybreak can successfully out the Gamer Dog, I can see this being a dub. Oh, yeah. But you're not gonna have the luxury of pressure. We're probably not gonna be seeing a lot of Shaku, which is one of the prime spacing tools that we see in players like Iken. Throwing his head back. Maybe thinking that he hit like the back hit of, of the, his hitbox on the shield, but alas, quick little Mario up smash was able to clean that up. Game of Dog is looking so confident, looking so good. I like this too. He's just camping, and uh, you just gotta camp Ryu out. You know the amount of on hit consistency Ryu has. Camping him is absolutely the optimal thing to do. Oh yeah. Okay, little Shuriken out of shield just to be able to stop all of that pressure that Game of Dog was applying. Goes through the forward, it does not matter. His pressure is continuing on. Big stanky leg coming out right there. This is looking better and better for Daybreak. Although the lack of confirms are going to be what, what hurts Daybreak the most. But if you can just land some strong moves with pure fundamentals and good spacing, you, you might you might have the start of something beautiful. Oh, yeah. He's trying to shark this landing somehow, looking for the jump call out with back air. One of the most strong back airs in the game, quite honestly. Oh, yeah. uh, doesn't find it, but... These mm. are not true shore use, and these are also the light shore use as well. These are not going to be taking the stock anytime soon. But, but that will. Yeah. Very hey. strong. Doable. Doable for sure. Ryu with Rage is a beast to be reckoned with as well. 
I, 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 Gamer Dog just needs to keep it calm, cool, and collected for the end of this set. Because nerves can be the bane of your existence, especially in this exact scenario. You're on stream, your opponent's picking random. I like that back wave from Gamer Dog. Maybe looking for uh, an Ellie Dog lead. Ooh. That time, Magan was able to find it. We just heavy enough to live. Surely he comes back onto the stage nice and safe. Just the double jump to get back on, but still. Can't get a solid punish off. That could have been a down smash off parry. Oh my god, the same situation again. Immediately mashing out the spot dodge. Dave Blake able to actually make it back. Resets neutral, but not for long. These landing bears are really just giving Daybreak a very hard time. There's no mid-range threat, really, that Gamer Dog has to be wary of. Setting up the tech chase, but the get up attack, knocking away Gamer Dog. Always looking to land with one of these buttons. Rolling away that time, just saying, you know what? Keep doing that, buddy. I'm out of here. There's so much rage on Ryu right now. A little bit more damage, and this can get very scary for Gamer Dog if he doesn't play his cards right. This is the OG Rage Monster. Oh! Gets that F smash. They're both alive. Oh my goodness. Not gonna be in Ryu's a big beefy heavy boy, but he jumps on stage. The oh. focus attack! This is definitely more than enough damage for Daybreak He's to close out this set. He's neutral. He's doing it. He's looking for the smash. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. You put a little much. You put a little too much dip on your chip right there. It got soggy. Fell off the chip, man. A good try. Daybreak tried to utilize his fundamentals and the tools he had at his disposal. But you can't, you can't down the dog. That was, that was a little that too a close for game. comfort. That was a silly game. That was a silly one. But keep your cool. You know, all the, all the silly things that led up to this set that Gamer Dog could have overthought, he powered through. That's and another it, game five that he has to win. He keeps getting these close sets. He had a game five with Justin Violet. Dude, look at this, look at this. Uh. <laughs> yeah, literally. If he, if he spent, spaced that dash back wrong, he could have died. Because the DI might have been off. Oh, yeah. But uh, looking good. And this will be a set that will help Gamer Dog grow as a player, as probably are the many that we've seen so far this bracket. And that's what these best of fives are for, man. Dude, when he hit that focus, I was so scared. As soon as he hit that focus, I was like, man, he's, this could be it. This could be it. But alas, you don't play Wii U. You're not able to get your up tilt you can confirm. That's how the, di that's been how so the dice roll goes, bro. Yeah. That's how the dice roll goes. Had they week one, it would have been very funny. It would have been hilarious, actually, in fact, to win with Quite random. comical. Quite comical. But Gamer Dog, able to take that game, able to take that set. Game number five.